Thanks, you guys. And by the way, I still haven't forgotten about that third question I asked you earlier in the program. How is the Earth system part of larger systems? I'll get your answers a little later in the program. But first, did you know NASA has three important mission statements? They are to understand and protect our home planet, to explore the universe and search for life, and to inspire the next generation of explorers as only NASA can. So how do these NASA mission statements apply to the study of the Earth and beyond? Well, Dr. J. Marshall Shepard from NASA's Office of Earth Science has the scoop. Thanks, Jennifer. The Earth Science Application Program focuses on applications of national priority to expand and accelerate the use of knowledge, science, and technologies resulting from the Earth Science Enterprise mission of improving predictions in weather, climate, and natural hazards. NASA has identified 12 applications of national priority to benefit society. They are energy forecasting, agricultural efficiency, carbon management, aviation safety, homeland security, community growth management, disaster preparedness, public health, coastal management, biological invasive species, water management and conservation, and air quality management. Essentially, NASA operates many scientific missions through partnerships with public, private, and academic institutions to study the Earth and its subsystems. Earth system scientists analyze the data to learn how the different subsystems work together to function as a complete whole. Then, federal agencies such as the Department of Energy, Federal Aviation Administration, U.S. Department of Agriculture, U.S. Geological Survey Society, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and other agencies use our data to develop application tools to help improve the quality of life here on Earth. It's important that we all work together to make sure our planet is livable for many generations to come. Here's a question to think about. Choose four of the 12 applications and try to determine what Earth subsystem, lithosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, or atmosphere, or subsystems it's associated with. Then discuss your answers amongst your peers and teacher. As the teacher pauses the program, keep in mind how Jennifer defined what a system is earlier in the program. Are you starting to understand about the concept of systems? Good! Jennifer mentioned NASA's mission statement. The first part is to protect and understand our home planet. Data collected by NASA satellites contribute greatly to our understanding and ability to forecast weather, climate patterns, and natural hazards. The second part of NASA's mission statement is to explore the universe and search for life. Applications developed from Earth system science data could potentially be used to study the other planets in the solar system. Speaking of our solar system, I believe that Jennifer hasn't answered the question regarding how our Earth is a part of larger systems. Hmm. The third part of NASA's mission statement definitely applies to you, to inspire the next generation of explorers. Understanding how the Earth works and environmental awareness are topics that challenge and excite the youth of today. We need future scientists and engineers like you to continue to bring real scientific breakthroughs in studying our planet. By the way, do you know what careers are related to the study of Earth system science? Well, I created a list of a variety of applications related to careers. Let's take a look at them. Forestry, migration of populations, water management, agriculture, such as crop forecasting and fish catch, health issues, such as famine or outbreaks of asthma and other diseases, technological instrumentation applications based on satellite and other types of remote sensing, and weather forecasting and weather-related events. Can you match some of the careers you thought of with my applications list? I bet you didn't realize that there are a lot of careers associated with studying the Earth, and mathematics is a fundamental skill in all. The last part of the mission statement says, as only NASA can. NASA contributes scientific research and technology, which our partners use to develop innovative approaches for Earth science applications worldwide. It's important to understand how the Earth functions as a whole and to meet the needs to help manage forest fires, coastal environments, agriculture, impacts of infectious diseases, aviation safety, and hurricane forecasting. So the next time you watch the news and hear about hurricanes, floods, wildfires, earthquakes, or a volcano erupting, take a moment and think about how it might be impacting your local area. Jennifer, back to you.